1975 was the 10th NFL season for the Atlanta Falcons. It was also the first year for a very important part of the future of the Atlanta Falcons. And that would, of course, be number 10, the NFL's number one draft choice from California, Steve Bartkowski. For the Atlanta Falcons, a rookie from Texas A&M named Bubba Bean, number 44, made an impressive debut and seemed to justify his selection as the team's number one draft choice. But the Saints must have known this was not to be their day when this 50-yard strike from Bartkowski to wide receiver Alfred Jackson, number 85, was subsequently ruled a touchdown. Atlanta prevailed. Benson in motion. Barkowski on the rollout. Sideline throw and completes this one down the far sidelines to Jackson. Jackson, 30, 20, 10, 5. Touchdown. Fumbles the ball to the end zone, but it's rolled a touchdown. You're going to see the receiver at the top of the screen. Alfred Jenkins, number 85, push deep. Now watch him push Waymer deep. Now watch him come back. Watch him work back toward the line of scrimmage. Waymer came to make the tackle. Missed the tackle. There goes Alfred for the touchdown. A beautiful job of driving the defensive back deep and then coming back to the football. Steve Bartkowski threw for 366 yards and three touchdowns on passes to number 86, tight end Ben Young, that were delivered with Bullock-style precision. And lobs to Alfred Jackson that were timed with ballet-like grace. The Falcons' 30-14 defeat of the Detroit Lions was their second victory of the young season. But it was the first indication that the matching of Dan Henning's prowess with Atlanta's explosive potential may be an engaging one. Bartkowski's 54-yard pass to Jackson gave the Falcons a 13-10 win and moved them into a tie with the Rams for first in the NFC West. At the midway point of a knockdown, dragout season, surprises keep piling up, swept along by the NFL's winds of change. Number 10, Steve Bartkowski regained his confidence with a little help from Wallace Francis, number 89. Francis caught seven passes totaling 153 yards. Even bigger than this 54-yard catching carry, however, was this beauty that saved the Falcons on a fourth down and four to go in the game's final two minutes. This time, Big Ben went off like clockwork. If you're keeping score, that was Bartkowski to Francis to Jackson. The 57-yard touchdown Curio gave the Falcons a 20-17 victory, their fifth win in a row. Bartkowski's 57-yard touchdown pass to number 82 Stacy Bailey tied this seesaw battle for the third time at 13-all. Late in the game, Bartkowski went long again, finding number 82, Billy Reichman, for this 59-yard scoring excursion. Reichman's touchdown was followed by a last-second tie-breaking Falcon field goal that gave Atlanta a dramatic 20-17 victory. With the win, the Falcons keep their season record at 500 and remain tied for second in the NFC West. Bartkowski with Andrews flaring, and he's going to go deep down the left side to Jenkins! Jenkins is going to go, touchdown! Aaron Mitchell was beaten, as you said. Perkins' big effort couldn't compare to that of a big league small fry named Alfred Jenkins, number 84, who went to work on the Saints and the Atlanta record book. The five foot seven inch receiver exploded for five receptions, 179 yards, and became the first Falcon ever to catch three touchdown passes in a game. 
Gerald Riggs, this hard-working fullback standing behind him, and they play fake to Riggs, and Barkowski's looking to get it all on first down. And it's up, and it's caught by White King Scott, and he's throwing in. No play. Watch the play action. Holds the linebackers at the line of scrimmage. A good fake by uh, Bartkowski. And he waits for Billy White Shoes Johnson to get open. And with his great speed, Billy White Shoes Johnson now his second touchdown pass. That took 62 yards, 18 seconds. And uh, the California earthquake. In their abbreviated first season together, rookies Bartkowski and Jenkins combined 38 times for 767 yards and a remarkable average of more than 20 yards per completion. Back home the next week, Steve Bartkowski bombed the Washington Redskins with the best day of his young career. 14 completions and 26 tries for 281 yards and three touchdowns. One of them a 67-yard spectacular to Wallace Francis. Carry Connection, orchestrated by Bartkowski and fullback William Andrews. After three straight defeats, the Falcons desperately needed a win to keep pace with San Francisco and the NFC West. The size of Atlanta's win should do wonders for their morale. Out in Los Angeles, number 10 Steve Bartkowski and the Atlanta Falcons had to settle for the consolation prize. Alfred Jenkins' picturesque 73-yard touchdown grab was aesthetically pleasing. One of them is Floyd Hodge, number 83, who teamed with Bart for a 76-yard scoring play. But Barkowski's bombs were countered by a steady barrage from Joe Montana. The Falcons clinched the NFC West title with the 35-10 victory, their ninth in a row. Before the year began, the Falcons had been tabbed by many to be cellar dwellers. But their performance in 1980 has made it abundantly clear that there's a huge gap between those who predict and those who play. Four-man rush. They're swinging out here on the, to the side. Andros, look at him work. Look at him go. He is, has only one man to beat. Wright gets blocked out of the play. Andros is going to score. Junior Miller threw a beautiful block downfield that enabled him to cut inside and go all the way, but he used his shoulder pad beautifully, and uh, the block was on... On right. On right. The big play was really... Reedy, watch this. He runs right over Wilson, Steve Wilson, yes, right here. Yes, he does. Watch this shot. Talking about using the shoulder pads and good leverage. Look at this. He runs right over Wilson, gives him a shot with the shoulder pad, and goes all the way. Watch Junior Miller now, number 80, if he comes into the picture. He throws a beautiful block on right. There it is, right there. Knocks him right on his back. And Andrews goes into the end zone for the touchdown. Tom Jackson in hot pursuit, but he can't catch him. Boy, what a great play. 1975 was the 10th NFL season for the Atlanta Falcons. It was also the first year for a very important part of the future of the Atlanta Falcons. And that would, of course, be number 10, the NFL's number one draft choice from California, Steve Bartkowski. 